You guys have been leaving me comments. Why haven't you been to the Target dollar section? Well, I went and I found some good things and I'm gonna show you today in a shop with me. I even took some things home. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are finally going over to the Target dollar section and we're looking for all the Easter stuff and the kids stuff, the things that you might wanna put in your kids' Easter baskets. If you haven't watched the Dollar Tree shop with me, that one has a ton, I mean, like a lot of Easter options in it too. So watch that one after you watch this. I'll put that down below for you. But for now, let's go over to Target and do a little shopping. We are definitely looking first for all of the Easter things, things that you can put inside an Easter basket, some spring things too, and I was so happy to find some good finds. These are called activity dice, and they're foam blocks, and on each one, there's a different activity to do with your kids, plus a little timer, so it's a really great active activity to do for your kids. For $3, this is actually a really good deal. This is something that could be used for multiple ages and in different situations, like at home or even in school or therapy. Kids play mat, thought these were adorable. They are are five dollars but they're like a yoga mat but look at the little characters on it we had an elephant there was a little tiger and they even had this one which i loved the most it was a road a road map so you can put your cars on here you can do some pretend play very very clever on this one and then i found one tucked way in the back over here too so just look around because they're kind of hidden we've seen this one before but i wanted to mention it it's the alphabet kind of interlocking blocks it comes with a lot in one package one for every letter and then it has a little picture for the phonetic sound. They even have a package that have the numbers with the symbols on them too. There's a lot of activities you can do with this. Always buying these and stocking up on them. This is the rainbow colored package. They're just blank pages inside. So many different uses for them. You could use them for crafts, for drawing, for journaling. We usually take these with us places like on a road trip or in cars. Really do love these wooden containers. Look how cute they are. There's some that have different colors inside and there's some that have patterns and they're plain inside. These are great for storing activities, organizations, maybe you're doing tray work, sensory bin kind of thing. And then I found some really fun fidgets. This one my kids absolutely love. We have one of these already where the oil mixes inside and goes up and down. Looks kind of like a lava lamp. They're $3 each. And then they brought back a whole bunch of the Play-Doh bath time sets. They come with a little jar of dough that you could use in the bath. So it's kind of like a soapy texture. And then it has a cookie cutter that you can go with it to cut out shapes. Really happy to see this, although I'm not happy with the price. It's a $5 cone set with rings. Great for outdoor play. I usually do a video about outdoor play activities. I have one I'll put up here in the corner for you to check out. But you can do so many things with cones and rings or even use them for obstacle courses. Random find here is a canopy. It's super, super cute. You just hang this up on your ceiling. You could put it over a bed. You could put it over a little reading nook. Thought that was adorable. And then they also had a lot of outdoor balls. This is just some of the selection I saw at one store. These are all $3 each. And there's so many different colors and different styles. These are another great outdoor activity. Speaking of outdoors, they're bringing back the chalk. Now this is a staple for springtime and summertime play. Always stock up on this because you'll use it. They also have the Easter egg ones, which are perfect for Easter basket stuffers. Play packs are pretty much a staple at Target. <laughs> You're gonna find them just about any visit you make. They had a couple different selections here of some popular characters. They come with crayons, coloring sheets, and usually stickers too. A great grab and go item or a restaurant activity too to take with you. Put it in your purse and you'll have it and you'll just have something for your kids to do. Really digging this color form set here. Inside there's different pages and they're that color form material so you can pull and stick them off and they come right off and you can answer all of the questions. There's a number set in here and you do simple math or counting. Really fun, easy activity and I really like this too. You can also use dry erase markers with it if you don't want the color forms. We saw these previous years for Easter. They're the Silly Dough from Crayola. They are scented, which is a lot of fun for that sensorial component. Easy put these in an Easter basket. There's two different sets, so if you want to get the full set, you'll have to buy two. Another staple that we see all the time are the Imagine Ink books, where you use the special pen to reveal the answers on the page. My kids have always loved these. I mean, I used to get them every single time I saw them at Target, and they were always entertained with them. They were also entertained with these in previous years, too, so this is a repeat, but if you haven't tried it, it's a lot of fun. It's called Scratch Fantastic, so you scratch off the little answers or whatever the activity you're supposed to do on the page, and it will reveal something 
underneath. And then these are also really fun alphabet and number imagine ink books too. So you get a lot of learning in those books. Look for the colors and shape ones for the scratch art and for the letter ones too. You cannot go wrong. These are always great. Love to see this. This is amazing. It is a hopscotch foam play mat. $5, you get one through 10. You can make it into a hopscotch board, but you could pull it apart and use it for counting, jump to a certain number, find a certain number, lots of different ways you can play with this. I definitely recommend picking this up if you have a toddler or preschooler in your life. Some more Play-Doh bath sets. I like this. It's like a little stack of different colors. So if you really like the Play-Doh bath, that's really cool. They also have them in the larger containers too. It just comes with less colors. And of course they always have the Crayola bath paint. Look at all of the colors they have. They have it all the time. And then I was really surprised to find these. Look how cute they are. They're little sweepers and mops and a snow shovel that are kid sized. Great opportunity to get your kids to have their own tools so that they can help out around the house. These are really, really fun. I also found a lot of kids playing with these maracas that light up too. I just, it was kind of a random find, but I wanted to mention it because they were kids actually playing with these, shaking them in the store while I was shopping. And they do come in a couple of different colors. So just thought it might be worth a mention. And then I did find some more colors in these little fidget waterworks toys. Kind of mesmerizing. I stood there for a while looking at them. More Play-Doh bath kits. This is called Bucket of Fun. There are 10 pieces in here with the moldable bath Play-Doh, which is soap and a little storage bucket in here too. So you have a lot of options. Speaking of bath, we have all of these foam shapes and licensed characters. They stick right Right onto your bathtub wall. A lot of fun here and I'll imagine a play opportunity while you're playing in the bathtub. But if a pool is an option, these were kind of fun. They are a light up target dive torpedo. So you put these in the pool and they light up when they hit the water and you can find them. This is great for outdoor. This is great for nighttime swimming, which we tend to do a lot. So I might pick up a package of these myself. We also have some bats and balls. These are all $3 each. They come in various different colors and they have the light up skip ball. Now I have I haven't tried this, but a lot of you have told me that you've had good success with this. So it's another great Easter basket item that will be great for use outside. If you've seen all of the fidgets at Dollar Tree, the Orb brand, well, they have them at Target too. So they're actually a quarter less than they are at Dollar Tree, which is a little bit better of a bargain, but they had all the same ones that I have recently seen at Dollar Tree. So keep your eyes open for those and you'll actually find a better deal at Target on these. The exact same ones, you guys, I saw all the same things. We have some Crayola bath books, but each one is a different color. So if you're focusing on a single color, you can find a bath book for that and get the whole rainbow and check out these little rubber duckies. How adorable are these? I saw a lot of Disney characters in this selection. These are a lot of fun to play in the bathtub in water sensory bins or even outside of the bathtub. You can't have an Easter basket without a little hopping chick, except this time they're a little bit different than ones we've seen before in the past. They're super cute. And then if you like silly string, they do have lots of that. We don't use it in our house house, but go for it if you do. We have Peeps Band-Aids and the Crayola Band-Aids. We get these every now and then to keep on hand, but I was really liking these really large dinosaurs. I mean, these are really, really big. They come in different colors and different dinosaur types. So you can get a whole collection for probably under $10. And I believe all of these were just a dollar each. Also, I found the building blocks again in the spring colors. Really like these. They're kind of a generic form of the plus plus blocks. If you find them, you get multiple of them because you're kids will love them. They travel really well. We also have the bubble wands too, but this time they have the little Easter bubble toppers on them, chicks, eggs, bunny ears, that kind of thing. Really, really fun in all the different colors. And then we have some peep dough here, which comes with some peep and then the little cookie cutter. And then we also have these eggs that are building bricks inside. So you can do different buildings from the bricks that are inside each of the eggs. I like the dinosaur the best myself. A subscriber sent me a message about these fidget surprise boxes and I was glad to find them in my store. There's four different boxes and you get surprises of all different kinds of fidgets inside. So depending on which box you get depends on the different type of surprises you'll get. These are $5 each, which is probably pretty comparable to how much you would pay in Amazon. So let me know if you have 
gotten one of these, tried it, opened it, and if you liked all the fidgets inside. We have some really fun Easter hangable art here or trays, maybe those are trays. They came in different sizes of bunnies and then I really like this truck here behind it. This is a really fun thing that you could store toys in, display in a bedroom, put some blocks in it and carry the blocks around. I thought that was kind of fun and a really cute find too. And then there was a lot of bunnies, you guys. Bunnies in all kinds of different sizes and in different ways. These little moss covered bunnies were $3 each. You can also get them plain. They had baskets and little things that you can put in decor in your home. I don't really go over too much of the decor stuff in my shop with me because I focus more on the kids stuff, but there was a ton. So if you decorate for Easter, make sure you head over there. You're gonna find some really fun new fresh spring finds. Here's some moss covered bunnies that you can also find at Dollar Tree right now. But what I really wanted to show you are these really cool fabric vegetables. These would be amazing for imaginative play, setting up a store in your house, pretend cooking, pretend chopping, and they're really soft and they came in two different sets, one with the carrots and one with the different types of onions. They kind of look realistic. We always see the Easter socks and they also still had a lot of the St. Patrick's Day socks too. These come in adult sizes and in children's sizes. How adorable is this little wooden box? It's meant to display things, but wouldn't that be fun as a dollhouse for your kids, like a little mini dollhouse, maybe for your Hatchimals or for something similar? It's only $5. You could also paint and decorate it. I thought this was a lot of fun too. It's called a DIY succulent kit. So it comes with everything you need to make your own fake clay made succulent kit. And you have a really fun art project afterwards. Here are some more of those bunnies. These actually are containers and I think they're made out of glass. They're $3 each. And then real quickly, I'm gonna glance over some more of the home decor items. Like I said, there is quite a lot. Some of it's spring base and bunny base, but most of it is just general home decor. If you have an older child, you might wanna try calligraphy. They had a really cool calligraphy kit in the dollar section. It comes with the pens, a little guide and the ink to do your own calligraphy. A few more on the Easter things that I saw as I went around a corner we have this Easter sign with an Easter egg and a truck. They're all made of wood. And then we have, of course, bunny ears because this is basically an Easter staple and a whole bunch of stuffed animals. I really thought these were adorable. We had penguins. I think this could be very similar to the target spot dog. We have a dinosaur couple options there, another Easter basket filler. I think these might've been a Valentine's item because I saw some that were labeled Valentine's, but these are a create your own scene. They are from color forms. And then you add the color forms on top of the scenes. I found one in a space theme and then also a unicorn theme. And then something that was a very similar Valentine theme. If you've tried them, can you let me know what you think about these? I'm very curious as I couldn't tell what was really inside. More bunnies. I told you there's a lot of bunnies, <laughs> bunnies in all different kinds of styles. And last but not least, I found some new bubble poppers. Take a look at these. They come in all rainbow colors, but they are in different shapes. This one's a little ladybug. I found an apple one. They even had a really cute bear one. I think this one was my absolute favorite. And then this one is a clover. A really good find, you guys. This is probably the best find of the whole shop with me are these Busy Bolts. These are far more expensive in other stores, but for $3, you can get a package. They come in two different colors. And basically they are a fine motor toy or a fine motor fidget. And what you do is screw them and unscrew them. This is great for the toddler age and for the preschool age. Definitely have to watch the Dollar Tree one that I did recently that had so many things in it. Really, really great finds. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen and I'll see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.